another major sporting event in tennis, the U.S. Open, the, the final Grand Slam tournament that's played every year in Flushing Meadows in New York is going to take place in a week and a half from right now. In fact, I'm actually going, as I've mentioned time and time again on this show, I'm going next week with my with my dad. We're going to the first couple of days. Very excited for that. And another member of the big three now in Rafael Nadal just announced his withdrawal from the U.S. Open. Now he's the second member of the big three, along with Roger Federer, to not play and to miss this upcoming U.S. Open for the second straight season. Second straight season, Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer aren't going to be playing in the U.S. Open. And obviously, it's for, for, for Nadal, it's because of this latest persistent foot injury that's really kind of derailed his, his season the last last three or four months. Since that French Open, he hasn't been able to play in, in any tournaments because of that persisting foot injury. And so this is the second straight year, as I mentioned. But the, the, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because in life, people normally get second chances. That's kind of what, what life is, is experience is the best teacher, right? And in, in life, you, know, you fail a test in middle school, in elementary school, you get an opportunity to take a makeup test. You have another opportunity to redeem yourself. If you failed one test, you can get a passing grade on the next one. If you're, if you're driving your car and you run a red light, Sure, you get cited and you get a ticket, but you get to go to traffic school and come back and continue driving. If you commit a crime or a felony, oftentimes you serve out your sentence, you're in prison. And then when your sentence is done, when you've served up your time, you're released and you get to get a second chance at being a valuable contributing member of society. In life, people get second chances oftentimes, whether you feel like they deserve it or not. As I mentioned, experience is the best teacher. People are given second chances all the time. But in sports, most athletes don't get second chances. We just saw the Olympics. For some of these Olympic athletes, they get one opportunity to compete at the Olympics, and they're never going to make it to that stage again. We see this with, with basketball, with the NBA, NBA Finals, or for a Super Bowl in the NFL, or a Grand Slam in tennis that when you reach that stage, it's not a given that you're going to get a second opportunity to reach that stage. Most of the time, you're not. We just saw Chris Paul. It took him 16 years in the NBA to finally reach the NBA final stage. And to be honest, I'm not sure if he's ever going to make it back to that stage. But this topic is not about lamenting Rafael Nadal's injury. Because yes, he's 36 years old, but I think he'll bounce back from this foot injury and he's not going to retire. It's certainly a major blow to the tournament. It's a major blow selfishly for me going to the event to not be able to see him play. But this isn't about Rafael Nadal. This is about the opportunity, a rare second chance and a rare opportunity for Novak Djokovic right now. Because I don't think Novak Djokovic has ever had a more prime opportunity for a second chance at retribution, at redemption, to rectify what was a personal embarrassment and humiliation that he had to suffer last year in his ugly departure from the U.S. Open. Because last year... We obviously remember in the fourth round against Pablo Carena Busta, he was visibly frustrated and upset after losing some points. He turns around, hits a ball right into the, the throat of a line judge at the U.S. Open in the fourth round, automatically disqualified. And mind you, that season in that tournament, there was no Roger and there was no Rafa. And the fact that you can fast forward a year later and find yourself in this fortuitous and serendipitous situation again that perfectly aligns the way that it did last year for Novak Djokovic, that's an opportunity that can't be wasted. Because at that time, he only had 17 
grand slams only. He had he had 17 grand slams, but he was obviously chasing Federer's mark of 20. And he's been awarded now for the second straight year in this final season, in, in this final tournament of the tennis season, an opportunity to play a Grand Slam without Roger Federer and without Rafael Nadal and be in the exact same position, almost like deja vu, like he was last year. When, when the Israelites, during, during, the ex, during the exodus, when the Israelites were fleeing and trying to depart out of Egypt, the Red Sea parted one time, one time for them, and they took advantage of it because they knew it wasn't going to depart to part one more time. Well, the Red Sea is now parted two times for Novak Djokovic in the last two years at the U.S. Open. And I guarantee you that now he's not going to waste that opportunity. He's not going to let this opportunity slip through his fingers. Now, again, this year, those two guys are missing the U.S. Open. Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal are missing the U.S. Open because of injuries. Last year, it was because of COVID concerns, but he enters for the second straight year as the lone lion and the lone member of the big three entering a grand slam. And now he's got legitimately, not that he wasn't going to be favored before with, with Federer and with Rafael Nadal, but now that they're not even a part of the draw, part of the men's draw. He's got a legitimate opportunity to win and complete a full Grand Slam, to win all four major Grand Slam events in the same calendar year, to win the Australian Open, to win the French Open, to win Wimbledon, and now to win the U.S. Open. That is a legitimate Grand Slam, and he's got the opportunity now to do that as the lone lion in this tournament, in the draw. He blew his opportunity last year in the same exact situation, same exact position. Athletes don't typically get second chances in sports, but when you do, you take advantage of it. And I think that he's going to win the U.S. Open this year. I don't know if I could have said that quite as confidently if Rafael Nadal and if Roger Federer were still playing in this draw. He would obviously be favored, Djokovic, but now that those two guys are gone for the second straight year, he's not he, he he's going to exact some revenge, some personal vindication and revenge for the way that he handled last year and the manner in which he had to exit and be forced out of the U.S. Open last year. You just, I mean, th this is like the, the tennis gods have been basically saying, let this be the year of Novak. Let this be the year of Novak Djokovic. This is Novak Djokovic's tennis year. That that's that's what's happening. Sure, he didn't win at the Olymp at the Olympics to complete a golden slam for whatever that means, but this is a he he can't ask for a better opportunity here. He can't ask for a better opportunity here. He's not going to get a better opportunity here at this stage in his career to surpass Federer's 20 Grand Slam mark. And assert himself even further. So it's it's a huge blow that that Rafa is not playing in this tournament. And obviously, selfishly, I'm disappointed that he and Roger Federer aren't playing since I'm going there. But you're Novak Djokovic. You are not crying today. In fact, if you are, it's 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 tears of joy, given that those two guys aren't playing.